I'm Emily Daniels, and this is my grandpa, John Miller, and he used to go to green local schools as a kid. So what do you think of the new school buildings being built? Well, we went to the... Um, groundbreaking? The groundbreaking, yes. And we saw all the plans and everything, and I think it looks like a wonderful building. What did you think about green local schools? Growing up, I always felt like... It was a, a good place, but if we got in trouble at school, we always got in twice as much trouble at home mm -hmm. because the parents knew all of our teachers, and the teachers knew our parents really well, and, and uh, that was just the way it was. The, I think the, the education we got was a, a really wonderful education, and, and uh, the teachers were very dedicated, and I think the community supported the schools very well for you know, that time. What was the biggest event that happened to Green Local while you were in school? Well, when I was in fifth grade, but they built the new junior high, which is now the high school. And I was in fifth grade, and, and the next year the, in, at the elementary, the sixth graders were always the, always the oldest kids. And so we went from not quite being the oldest in elementary to being the youngest in the new, in the new junior high school or middle school, I guess now they call it. Uh, it was 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. And um, we were all really excited about going to a new building and a new school. And then, shortly after I graduated, I think they passed a, a levy to build and change the old high school into the junior high or the, middle, the junior high school and then they took the junior high and turned it into high school so I saw both of those didn't actually experience it graduated from the old old building but um, got to help some in the work of transforming the old junior high into the high school just with my dad being a plumber and doing some of that work so do you think the current junior high building should remain standing well, I know that's an emotional thing for a lot of people. Um, I think historical-wise, the old elementary building might be a building more worth saving because I think that they'll need the, the land would be a better commodity where the old high school is. And um, I'm not sure that that old building is worth, worth saving at all, but I... You know, I guess I would tear it down if I had my druthers, but I know others feel differently about it, and I guess there's some move to make it a historical building now. But I wonder why that building and not the old elementary building, which used to be a high school. So, um, what was different about the schools when you went than now? Well, when I first went to kindergarten, I remember that kindergarten class was in a little room off of the stage near the gym and they were building a new addition on at that time and then halfway through the school they opened up the new addition and we got to got to move into those um, in what we called the new wing which I guess is the old wing now so that was that was kind of neat and then they added the built the junior high which is now the high school and the old high school which was was there so those buildings were all there and of course Marshallville um, when we had basketball we and I think in fifth grade or sixth grade they would bus us over there to have basketball practice over at Marshallville and um, it was a kind of way to get to know some of those kids before we got to junior high um, class-wise I think from what I know about what kids learn today, <clears throat> I think teachers are much, much better prepared nowadays than, than when I even went to college to become a teacher. I think that the group of teachers that are coming out of college right now are, are just some of the best trained teachers I've seen um, over the last 50 years. But um, the, the curriculum, too, things that, that second grade math are learning concepts that we had in algebra, pre-algebra in eighth grade, and some of the 
the algebra stuff we learned in ninth grade, um, uh, kids are learning much, much younger. I think kids are learning to read. We didn't learn to read until first grade. Um, now kids, I think, pretty much all know how to read by the time they're in kindergarten, and, and it just seems like everything's been moved up a bit, uh, and the challenges are much great. And, of course, the addition of computers, I think, has changed and probably is about to change education more in the next five or ten years than, than it has since computers were introduced in, in the early 80s. So it'll be interesting to see, but all of those changes, I think, are, I think are for the better um, of helping kids to learn and graduate and and to be prepared for life after school. What are your favorite memories of Green Local? Well, I I could tell stories all day long, but I <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I. I just think we had a lot of fun growing up, and, and school was such a big part of that. I remember in fourth grade taking taking uh, some pigeons to school and to, for show and tell, and they got loose and flew up in the lights, and my teacher finally called a, after the pigeons pooped all over the desks, the, the um, teacher called a class-wide recess and told me to go get the janitor and not to not to come out and get them from recess until we had the birds back in the basket. I think of my brother, my brother Tom, when uh, we were in high school, got, us, got the bright idea that if he could get a skunk into the return air of the high school, the, it would be ju the junior high now, that uh, we'd get a day off of school. So he, he and some friends of his um, went out and got some an old roadkill skunk and put it in a in a bag and climbed up on top of the old building and got somehow got into the um, boiler room and got this skunk in the in the return air and then uh, but the janitor of course got there early to make sure everything was okay and he knew something was wrong <laughs> so he had it all cleaned up before uh, anything happened and we all had to go to school with the with the building smelling slightly of of skunk um, I think a lot of fond memories of band and, and uh, the school newspaper and plays and choir and, and um, just a, a lot of the extracurricular activities are the things you remember the most. But those are some of the th memories I have. What is our family history um, going to Smithville? Well, my dad was was born in Smithville and went to school there his whole life. Um, he, of course, went to high school in the in the new building, and he tells he tells the story of when when the old elementary building was built. It was was interesting when Emily was in kindergarten. We had grandparents' day, and uh, I went, and the teacher asked who if anybody had graduated from Smithville and I said yes in fact I went to kindergarten in this very room the same room my granddaughter is going to and, and uh, she thought that was wonderful but she wanted everybody to know that she hadn't been my teacher <laughs> back then of course my, all my brothers there were 11 of us that went to Smithville and um, it was interesting growing up I was the sixth child and Whenever the first day of school would come, all the teachers would say, Oh, no, not another Miller. <laughs> they got kind of tired of having us. But, uh, and then my brothers, some of my brothers uh, stayed in the area, and their kids all went to Smithville. My sister-in-law, Lynn, taught there. And now my grandkids are, are going there. So it's a, kind of a long tradition of... of our family being a part of the Smithville community and being Smithies. So do you have any stories of going to Green Local? Well, one, one story I remember really well, this was when we were in elementary, but we had gotten, and that was in the summertime, we had gotten our allowance and we were going up to the old Hollinger uh, gas station, which is next to where the um, 
Root and Amstead's uh, grain elevator was. And uh, we were going to spend our allowance at the store. Well, we got halfway up to the store, and we were right at the high school, and a thunderstorm broke out. And we went tearing over and got under the... Um, in the entryway of the of what is now the junior high and um, all of a sudden a great big thunderbolt of lightning hit the bush right out in front of the building and it just it just split the bush apart caught it on fire dirt was flying all over the place we were there were I don't know four or five of us there we were scared to death screaming and yelling and crying and the, and the janitor uh, heard us out there and he had he came over. He was our next door neighbor. He says, "What are you kids doing out here in this kind of weather?" He he led us in the building, and uh, it was fun. The um, I can remember in the old building afterwards. We often stayed to help set up for banquets or ban you know things like that. And when we had the run of the school, when nobody else was there, we'd take skateboards and and uh, go down from the the old part of the building going past the cafeteria into down that hall where the band used to be I don't know what's there now I, and and we'd see how far we could get down the new wing uh, a lot of times we made it all the way way down there well thank you for letting me interview and it sounds like you had a great time going to the green local probably too much fun <laughs> but it was okay all right thanks <laughs>